Good morning, guys and girls. Listen to the birdies. Cool, huh? Day 27. And I just wanted to share. I'm going for a little walk. It's 6.30 in the morning. And it's a beautiful sunny day. Check that out. Ooh, nice. My trainers are wet. Wet trainers. They still work. I haven't got a top on. Well, not under my top. So, what I don't want to talk about today. This is one of my rambles. I think it's important to, to remember that we all have many sides to us. Yeah? So, um... You know, I have my laughy, giggly stuff. And my alter egos are starting to come out. That's cool. They've always been there. Nothing false about it. If anything, I'm just embracing the fact that I'm many... Many different... There's many different facets of Dillbob. Like, there are of all of us, we're complex creatures. And that's my point. We're complex creatures. I've been checking out on YouTube and stuff. And there's like a lot of people that hate. And in the world there's a lot of people that hate. There's a lot of people that love too. There's a lot of people that hate. I wanted to talk about my experiences of hate and how I've recognized it and how potentially I try and deal with it. Or just to ramble about hate really. Oh no, there is no power in the battery. So I may have to come back to this point, but hate is not, oh here you go, I've got some people walking the other way, that's a first whilst I'm doing a vlog, morning, morning. Right? yeah you, you cool morning. beautiful day isn't it, so, oh they didn't seem to think it was that weird me walking along, holding a camera up, chirping to myself. So, <laughs> so, anyways, if it does cut out, which it looks like it may just do, maybe just enjoy the weather for the minute. I may come back to this point, or I may have moved on. I tend to think, sometimes in the mornings, you know, you get up and you just have these deep, profound thoughts. I think it's worth sharing them. You may have this too, or you may think, He's just a complete nut job. But I think it's good to share. You know? So, anyways. I suppose long and short of it is hate and anger, they're kind of all bundled in the same bag, aren't they? What do you do? Do you hate first and then you get angry? I think so. So you're hating, then you get angry. Why are you hating? There's many, all of us have been tested on that front. There's always something that's going to make you really hate. But hate eats your soul, man. You know, just eats you up. And it, it's infection. It's kind of like infectious, man. Once you get it, you pass it on to your family, you pass it on to your friends, and then it's self-reciprocating. You're all in this circle of hate. And it needs someone always to break that circle of hate. Hating is not good for you. It's not going to fulfill your life. I know from experience, man. And all of us do. And I suppose it just depends how you deal with that hate, doesn't it? You've got to get rid of it. You. No one else is going to do that for you. You've got to step up and go, you know what? This is not enriching my life in any way. What can I do to deal with it? And it's not, you're not going to find it in any textbook or anything like that. It just is what it is. But it's not, it's not a good experience. Sorry, I felt a little weird talking. Those guys can't stop talking. They're like, dude's talking to himself. Dude needs, like, friends, real friends. You guys are my real friends. That's right. Anyways, hate will just eat you up. That's my experience. Everyone I've met that hates, it's etched all over their face. You can see they hate. 
everyone that's happy and light, you can see they're happy and light. Who are the happier people? You get what I mean? People who hate are just, they're not happy anymore. What is it they're hating about? Often it's something inside that there's a problem inside. You know, I mean, I'm no expert on this, but these are my experiences. I had to look inside me when I was hating and ask myself, why do I hate that person? What, they have a different opinion to me? That's cool, I get that. Loads of people in the world are gonna think I'm a complete dick. I don't care, it's cool. I don't, I don't even mind the, them saying to me, Dill Bob, I mean, then again, even that, you don't really have to, do you? Because look, that's the start. You're igniting a bit of hate. I mean, you're putting hate my direction, no doubt there's going to be some hate come your direction. Someone's got to stand up and go, do you know what? I don't want to ignite the hate. I don't want to keep hate reciprocating. I don't want to do it. I just want to be happy. If you want to live in a happy world, you've got to start by being happy. Walk down the street, smile at people. Yeah, I know. I know, the amount of people I smile at. And they... And you can take that person and go, yeah, man, it's, it's because you don't like me. Oh, you're looking at me and, and I've got a big nose and you're laughing at my nose. How's about they're just having a crappy day and it's got absolutely nothing to do with you? We're so, so, you know, set up on thinking that everything's about us. Whereas in fact, especially when it comes to other people, we're in fact, actually, go down the stairs. Actually, actually, it's rarely about us. They could be just having a shit day. And you happen to be walking the other way and you're sick and smile their way and they're going, do you know what? I don't feel like smiling right now, mate. That's it. Don't be taking that as a hate. Take it as a, I don't know. Don't even take it. Do you know what? Sometimes, also, just thinking about stuff too much, you gotta learn to know when too much thinking is too much thinking, you know? I used to think too much about things, and I think about it so much, and the thing is, there are a lot of things in life that there are no answers. It just is, and I know that kind of, to some people you can go, what? Mate, you never get in life, you never get anywhere in life with that attitude. But it's learning that balance, isn't it? Sometimes, yeah, think about stuff, really ponder it. And you're gonna to come to conclusions, and sometimes you're gonna to come to a point where you get to no conclusion, where you go, you know what, I just can't work that out. Chat to your mates, chat to those people that you actually really, you know, respect and trust their opinion, and see where you go with that. And if you find that none of you are actually coming to a conclusion, maybe it's just something that you need to put into bed for a little while, and just leave it, leave it to simmer. Maybe one day you'll go, you know what, once you've had more life experience, you may go, you know what, I get that now. Well, you may go, do you know what, that's just one of those things that we're never going to understand. Cool? But don't run yourself ragged over problems that you feel like, you know what, I've tried and I still don't get it. It may just be that on your life journey you're not far enough down that road yet to actually really have enough experience to draw on to understand that thing. Or it may be something so big and profound that none of us have the experience to really draw on that thing. Cool. So hate eats your soul. It's an infection, man. It'll eat everybody's soul that you know if you let it. If you hate, your soul will be full of anger. If you love, your soul, your heart, we feel the joy and happiness. So to love, you have to learn to let go. To hate is to hold on to things, to fester, to let them brood. When you hate, everyone in your world will hate too. You'll infect them with it. You will all hate. Is that really what you want for your friends and family? Or do you want them to be happy? Do you want to see them laughing? Do you want to see them feeling light? That's what I want for my family and friends. I want to see them happy and light. Anger, hate will eat your soul. It's an infection, it will eat all of your friends and your family. 
None of them will smile, their faces will change. They'll be sad a lot. Is that really what you want? I didn't say it'd be easy, but that's the right path. And all of us every day should work a little harder to hate a little less and to forgive and to love a little bit more. Cool? So the next time you're tested and the world throws a curveball at you, take a step back before you react. Just ask yourself, how do you really want this infection to carry on? Or how do you really want this experience to go? Every experience, whether it's positive or negative, is an experience that you need to use to grow. Now, I've had some crappy experiences, some really crappy experiences, as have all of us. They're important to us, those experiences. So the next time you're tested and life throws a curveball at you, just ask yourself, how do you want to respond? Because how you respond has consequences on your friends and family every single time. So remember that. Cool. So you can love. And it's hard. It's hard. You've got to forgive. That's hard. You've got to love. You've got to let go. That's deep, man. And that is hard. And it's hard every single day. And you're not always going to succeed. Don't beat yourself up. Just keep working in that direction. Cool? Because remember, hating has consequences. Hating will destroy everything that's good in your life. It just does. I've been there. I know many people that have been there. No one has ever come out of hating in a positive way. Forgiveness happiness, joy, love, light, these things will help you on the right path, on your journey to becoming the person that you always want to be. So drop the hate, become happy.